Good Tuesday afternoon, everybody, and welcome back to some more Slay the Spire. Can I hit you guys with a question? It's not related to the game or the mod itself. Tell me if it's like this in your community. Is it the nicer the community you end up having to drive through, the more concerned you get? I almost said it's concerned. Try to mix our words together. Because uh, apparently, just like in Las Vegas, no matter what area you're driving through, it's going to be bad. But apparently, as you go more upscale, people le seem to lose more of their brain cells. Is this like a, you know, a heated piece from my driving experiences today? No, not really. It's just I watch people drive in some of these nice areas of town, and they're actually a bunch of dumbasses. Anyway, that's the only thing I really had to want to start off today. Had to want to start off today. You, you know what I'm saying. I'm just... We're getting the juices flowing. If you know what I mean, don't be weird about it. Let's pick a card and let's get going. Or upgrade a card. Three random potions. All go for 14 max HP. I mean, that just guarantees us we get to play the game. That's what I like to see. So how's everything going on the old mind of Tim? Eh, today was another day. <laughs> I'll be, If I had to be honest, though, today was not my day. Just mentally on a level, I'm... Hit with a lot of things that I got to accept, dude. Like th this, I haven't really explained what my situation is right now. I just know, like, you know, I'm working on it. But if I could explain it in terms of a movie, I think the best way I could explain what I'm experiencing is like a Shutter Island scenario. And if you haven't seen Shutter Island, you, you know, you're not missing out. But like, th that's the premise there. And we're not going to dive deeper into that because I want to play video games. But just picture me going through a, a Shutter Island-esque moment right now. It's like, oh shit. Also, this path is just joined, so we will not do that. Can we get a path going here? Skirt, skirt, and... Yeah, yeah, the Three question marks into an elite. All right, ready, set, go. Boom, 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 boom. That being said, though, today was, you know, as far as days go, I did my best. <laughs> I always do my best. Never letting anyone down. There for the team, there for the squad. There to collect big money. No, it's, it's not the only reason we go to work. We go to work because we enjoy work, right? Yeah, is it, so says our overlords. Okay, you know, maybe we're hitting too hard here on something that is not that funny, but today was fine. Me personally, just could have been better. Dude, where do we start off with here? Mana Conviction, draw two cards, exhaust two cards. If you eight more charge, you'd be losing to get the energy. Machine Gun Spark, there could be something good there. Not so much now, like at base though, I think I'm just going for a double spark. It's consistent, we know what it does, it makes us happy. Uh, thinning out the deck right now, we could go for a thin deck. Absolutely could. I think I would gladly toss out a simple spark. Yeah, you know what, let's do it. It's just a simple spark, what do we care? We got a double spark, dude, it's twice as good. Names in the... Uh, the proof's in the name there. Shroom Bag, even though it gives us curse, is good, and this has some amazing synergies with Curse Relics. But what else is going on in the, the world of Tim? Well... Uh, I'm also getting ready for a wedding this weekend. My good buddy, Jay Osh. His name will be hidden forever. I know, it's really hard to figure out who that individual might be. Uh, he's getting married this weekend. We got a rehearsal and all the uh, the good stuff that we got to get ready for. I picked up my tux and my shoes and my shit today. And let me just tell you, dude. It's, you know, I'm glad to be a part of it. But damn, dude, just participating can be a little pricey. Hey, t Tim, it's like the happiest moment of one of your friends' life. Why are you gonna be such a stickler? Dude, I, I know. I am being a stickler. Like, it was a little money for my friend's happiness. I got invited. I'm like part of the big thing, so I should be honored. And I am. But I do like my money. <laughs> and it, what's the thing? You know, it's like the nice clothes. Hey, you wanna wear this nice shirt? Hey, it's gonna be $170 to rent it. It's like, well, I guess it's cheaper than buying it, right? But who, who gets off? What fucking tuxedo corporation gets off saying, oh, yeah. You want this tuxedo? You want to own one? All right, yeah. $8,000. I don't know how much it actually costs. <laughs> but I'm just saying, you know, it's pretty pricey. And then it's like, oh, uh, you, you change the shape of your body? Buy a new one. It's like, no, you know, this is why we rent. Anyway, what do I want here? I think pulse magic. Next turn, gain energy amplify. Effects cost no energy this turn. We can go for an amplified deck with this. Yeah, we can go for an amplified deck with that. Uh, I do like the Witcher Greed early, just because we can get a little bit more oomph out of it. But let's get Pulse Magic, so we can focus on getting some more amplification going. Really just take off with that. So here, Pulse Magic, Parasite. It's also nice because it's zero cost, so we can charge up that energy a little bit quicker. Simple Spark, Double Spark. Right. Amplify is free to go, so every card we can play is going to be free Amplify. So this should do 22, and it should only cost one. It still costs two. Maybe I misread the card. Can can we read this again? Next turn, gain energy. Amplify. Amplify a kex. Oh, it's this turn. Oh, yeah. Reading comprehension has failed me and eluded me yet again. 
A singularity and neglect to see a glow? I don't think so. We're looking for more amplifies. The, the ion directional laser is also nice, if we're going to be honest, but maybe singularity? We got a lot of zero cost cards. We got two, so we are going to be amping up something else in the process. Um... We need a lot more jaw to make it work. Just go ahead and get me the ion directional laser so we can guarantee kill this individual. And I thought it was going to be Gremlin Bob, so I was a little hesitant to start us off. It's not Gremlin Bob, though, so we can actually come out swinging here. I don't know. It's like a Fall Out Boy song. You guys know the song, right? Not just not just the Tim thing here. Cock it and pull it. It can't just be me. We were all born, most of us at least, in the same generation of that area or that time. Area. Era is what I meant to say. I feel like I'm pretty alone on this bit. I mean, or maybe it's just because there's no actual voices going on in the background telling me otherwise. Which, you know, we've been doing this for a while, so that's just the standard, I guess. Alright, we'll just say... I'm gonna say y'all y'all agree with me. Y'all are on board. You're like, yeah, no, I know that, Tim's, that, that song. It's uh, like Hockett and Pullet's song. And I'm like, yes, that is, that is indeed the song I was singing. Okay, we're gonna potion him here so we don't lose 18 more HP. Get the Art of War. Shoot the moon. So I do like it because it does remove the debuff. And the damage is... It's not actually that good. Upgraded the damage is decent. Why is this one in green and this one's white? Is there a problem? You go for that upgrade deck again. Worked out so well last time, and we're gonna do it. We're going for an Amplify upgrade deck. Will we even take on the Mega Boss at the end? That's that's for me to decide, I suppose. Uh, let's get the... I mean, that just makes future turns really good. Um, What do we want? You get an upgrade spark? This is gonna give me a little bit more damage value. Just gonna get the ramp up going a little bit quicker. Do you take on Flaming Elite? We could. We could also not take on a regular Elite, and I'm feeling like we're going to do that. We're going to take on the regular Elite. I want to be Reggie today. All right. Uh, we're going to get bopped for a bit here, and that's fine. The Mushrooms are giving us a little bit of sustain in between each fight. We're almost guaranteed to draw them all anyway. There's a lot to love about that. Can we kill you outright? Yes. Cause that's 20 damage. Hmm. I love basic math. Absolute magnitude. Deal damage equal to the charge up. It's good. So we can get like a charge up thing going as well. We have a lot of... Oh, I do love Galactic Halo though. I really love Galactic Halo. But absolute magnitude is a solid. So we're looking for a zero cost charge up for the magnitude to really just, you know, crush him. It seems like a good deal so far. We're going to amp that up even further. So as long as we have at least like three charge, this thing's going to be hidden for at least... A basic strike, which, you know, when I'm selling it like that, that's pretty bad. We get more than three charges, we're gonna be a lot happier. Okay, glad to have the upgrade here. Good. It was guaranteed to remove one of them, so... Excited nonetheless, and we might actually come out ahead here on HP. Can we get the mushrooms? Hmm. Give me that mushroom. Alright, we lost one HP, and we're at the maximum HP we should be at. Don't tell me 89 is the highest one. We got 6.9 right there. If you've activated Amplify, it's free. I do like Mysterious Beam. I do like Mysterious Beam. Spore Crump. I do like Spore Crump, just for the damage bonus. You gotta be careful, though. We're gonna go for a big Amplify deck to make the Magnitude uh, a one-shot kill. We gotta be careful with how we Amplify, but Spore Crump is still good. The vulnerability of when this character is doubling her damage like crazy is... It's worth its time. It's worth its weight in gold, even. So, yes, and then yes, and then yes, and that's already 11, but we can amp it up a little bit further. Just don't, don't expend the Amplify if you don't have to. Don't do it. Okay, we're gonna, we're gonna do it. Because the Omnidirectional Laser is doing just a billion damage there. He's dead. He's dead. I'm sitting here trying to, like, drum up a story for this character. I'm gonna build his lore, and then he just dies. Damn, Risky. Shooting Echo, that's the one that just keeps coming back, and it gives us something better. And something, it just keeps coming back. We exhaust the entire deck with that. It's not what I'm going for. Unstable Bomb as a single target is good, as a multi-target. A little more concerned, but it's good. We're getting this guy here. Get the extra energy next turn. Spore Crumpus. Big damage. Charge it up. He's nearly dead. 48 HP. I pity the fool. 
and Mr. T would do. Yeah, that's gonna be a good one. That's a curse play, and then the defend play we don't really do. We could get a kill with this. It's 6 HP. I'm not gonna lose sleep over that. In fact, we're gonna gain like two more of it back here in a second. Okay, I was being optimistic. Didn't work out like that. Molten Egg! Whenever you get an attack card, you upgrade it. Dude, I love all of it. I love the prop bag, too. What's the upgraded version of this? Oh, it's innate. Yeah. And it's only a skill, too. A skill to get Aura Calicum for free is pretty swell. Uh, we're gonna go for a Galactic Halo, though, because it does help with the charge up, and we kind of like a charge up deck going. Scoured by Flames is the Pyramid Heads, and we're perfectly fine taking them on, because we have a Preserved Insect, so we can crush them. Not a really good turn for upgrade. In fact, it's goddamn embarrassing to see this even appear in its current state. It could have at least given me one more damage card there, game. It would have met me halfway. Okay. Spore Crumpus. I think we go for a Spore Crumpus. Remove all the artifacts. Let's get that charge up going. Get a little bit more damage on the table and check it out. Bada boom. We didn't kill anyone. Hey, forget about it. <laughs> Is that, is that like the default Italian? You think Italians hate like American media for what it's made of like, you know, their foods and like the way people talk? But I don't think anyone in Italy is just going around the town going like, oh, hey, forget about it. It's, it's funny because they did it in America, right? And it's like, oh, hey, this this is your culture, but it's now our joke. <laughs> I think America does that to a lot of things. Yeah. I mean, it does it with like, you know, food in particular. Like today, I was at Roberto's, and this is a nice little pivot to Roberto's. Okay, I'm gonna start off the story in a way. Don't, it's not trying to like sound like pretentious or anything, but if anyone has ever had to like spend like their country's like equivalent currency of like a hundred dollar bill, please tell me how those exchanges go, because I get fucking nervous every time. Like today, I was at Roberto's and I got a California burrito because I wanted to try it. I've never had it, and I'm sitting there like, oh shit, I want to pay with cash. And I'm like, I only got a hundred on me. I know, ooh, what a what a first world problem, Timmy. You can see me doing like the fictional stroke right now. All I'm saying is, I looked at the guy, I'm like, oh shit. Like, I'm, I'm fucking embarrassed or concerned, because, like, I feel like we have to have this standoff, or, like, you know, this discussion here, because I'm like, yeah, you got, you got change for a hundred, and then, depending on where you go, some places are just like, no, some places are yes, and some people give you the look like, yeah, hand it over, and they're fucking putting it in front of the blue light, they're using the marker on it. I'm just sitting here like, dude, I'm a good boy, I promise. It's a real bill. And then, of course, they give me my change, like, all right, and then you count the change, but, like, does it have to be this standoff? Why even have the $100 bill in the first place if it's going to be so damn difficult to use it? This is not an empty complaint, by the way. It's, it's the truth, damn it. It's the truth. You try and spend a bill that's over 20, people start looking and like, where'd you get that bill? It's like, huh? And then when you look young, they're like, huh, $100, huh? How'd you get that? It's like, I mean, I work a job, you know? Yeah, it's help. <laughs> it's just a help situation. I'm like, ugh. Just take the money, dude. The only place that won't care is the fucking casinos. They're just like, yeah, you know, hand it over. Yep. <laughs> yeah, that's a hundred. <laughs> it's in the machine now. Makes me wonder, you think people make counterfeit bills and like put them in slot machines? I feel like there has to be like some sort of like alarm that would go off if you tried that. This is me not advertising illegal things, by the way. Don't do that, please. Like, use your brain if you come to Vegas. And to be honest, don't gamble to begin with. But maybe gamble a little and eat some food so I can continue to live here. <laughs> All right, let's let's uh let's pivot away from this conversation now. I've made myself way more uncomfortable than I was intending. Uh, we could pop this with the amplifier right now. We don't need to burn any potions. I'm not gonna. So what am I trying to say here, dude? Anytime I have to spend a hundred, I get nervous. I feel like the fucking staff at whatever place I'm eating at, they're just looking at me like, mm-hmm. It's a hundred, huh? You're gonna make me you're gonna make me check you out, huh? Do I have to call the police? Like, no, I just I just want a burrito, dude. It's like, oh, likely story. Burrito, huh? You know what happened to the last guy that came in here just asking for a burrito? <laughs> Why's it gotta be such a duel? And maybe I'm sort of like blowing things out of proportion and I also wasted the opportunity to get extra energy on this turn. I know. I know. I'm well aware. But check it out. We are amping up like crazy. Not expending that energy. We're gonna one-shot this guy with our amplitude. That's good damage, but check it out. Keep amping. Don't stop until you amp it up. How much damage are we doing? Where is it? Okay. Galactic Halo. So we do this. Pulse Magic. Galactic Halo, we're up to 20. If we get to 24, we'll be able to hit him pretty big here. So you need to get the Spore Crumpus out. Uh, I think it might be 240. You're dead. 
<laughs> Disregard, we don't need to do any of that. He's dead. You saw that guy there? No, he's dead. There's no guy. Very cool. Uh, warming up back on the streets. We are going for like a Relic Hunter-esque build, so maybe collecting Quirk is cool. I just realized she's riding on the fucking anchor. Oh, this is really cool, actually. What's the spirit poop here? Oh, Gurya. Nice. Man, I can appreciate the mod and the mod makers for this. Like, the amount of intertwining their, their Toho character into Slave Spire, it's done pretty well. It's not just like, surprise, anime's here. It's like, no, she, she is in the Spire. She's got the shit around her. I have no idea who this character is, by the way. So, like, maybe there's a, a reason behind that. Maybe there's some lore. What am I looking at? This is Stardust Reverie. Uh, warming up is going to prevent us from doing the uh, the thing we want to do. <laughs> Add that many random cards. <laughs> LOL, so random. Uh, let's get the Collecting Quirk just because it could be another damage option for us. And we could transform some cards into something great. I'm going to be foolish, and I'm going to do that. These three basic strikes have become Robbery, Refraction Spark, and Mana Rampage. Gonna be honest with you, we have a lot of synergies with a lot of those cards, Mana Rampage included. All smiles and sunshines over here. Another world at a perfect day. No, no one really wants to hear these songs, huh? I don't blame you. It's from a bygone era. Uh, we can fight two elites if we forego fireplaces. I don't, I don't think I'm gonna do that. I am gonna hit up some question marks on the way, though. Hoping to find some long forgotten tales for ancient melodies. Alright. Galactic Halo. There's a reason why I love it. It keeps showing its worth every time it comes. It's so much block. The charge up is solid. We have no cards that we can amplify with this. Alright, that works. Cool. <laughs> I was like, how am I going to do this? And, well, he's vulnerable and we're doing double damage, so I guess he's going to die now. Okay, cool. Yeah, this character, you know, despite losing last time, this character's pretty strong. In case you didn't notice. Gain five lock, draw one card, all attacks in your hand, deal one of damage. It, I'm doing it just because it gets us amplification, it gets us some block, nothing else. Upgrade all strikes and defense, namely just the defense, but that is a welcome, welcome piece. Do I have any... No, don't do that. Don't do that. The parasites are good. Said the not zombie. They're good parasites. They love me. Okay. Milky Way again. I sound so disappointed there. Oh, Milky Ways again. Man. Extra energy on starting turns is nice. Seeing your draw pile is kind of just meh. I'll grab a Milky Way and I'll grab some extra energy. Why not? Why not? Do we want to remove a card? Nah. We kind of like what we got going on here. And we're going to fight one elite, get two fireplaces, get a later shop. If we feel like we're just so stupid strong, we'll go fight another elite. But I do want to get more E upgrades. Hmm. So I think you meet me halfway. We're going to do a mana rampage. Does that get added to my discard? It does not. They're just sort of there on the side. Cool. It's a fun card. I'll, if anything, that card is always going to be fun. Galactic Halo. And then we'll go for the Spore Crumpus, I think. Let's... Spore Crumpus. Amplify next turn. This is fine. We're taking four damage to make it happen. That's okay, because the damage is already ramped up. We draw our big hitter, and he's going to be done. And dusted... Oh, we're so close. Oh, we're so close. I can feel it. Wait, we're already past it. There it is. Hey, it's 204 damage. <laughs> it's interesting how that works out, isn't it? It definitely is. Uh, Witch Agreed is it's just a power card. It doesn't really do much for us. But you know, because it's upgraded and because it doesn't go towards like burning our charge up, let's do it. Book of Stabbing. Oh, you poor, poor fool. What have you walked into? A good time for a galactic halo if i'm gonna be honest don't want to take that damage we'll burn the robbery get some easy gold 11 count them 
11 pennies. Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll do we'll do this. Just to, I, I wish it would hit this as well. That'd be pretty cool. So we're gonna drink this because we're gonna get a free potion from this anyway, and then I'm gonna play Mana Rampage. We're gonna chug this on him as well. Just see what happens. So overall, not too crazy. Still very exciting, very fun. Glad we did it. All right, a little bit more damage to make it happen. Overall, we came out of this like way ahead, like more ahead than we ever have any right to be ahead. And that's, that's okay. Do we take on another elite? Well, with the regen potion in my pocket, I think we should. I think we should. Convert your charge up into energy. Add one exhaustion to your hand. This is temporary. Convert your charge up stacks into energy. Add one exhaustion to your hand. Your attack damage is double this turn. So you can further do a one shot with that, but it doesn't really go with what we're doing here. It sort of has a bit of a dis-synergy to it. And actually, there's a dis-synergy. Yeah, fuck it, dude. We'll take on another elite. We're missing out on two fireplaces, though. Like, are there cards we would like to upgrade? I think our block cards, if they give us more block. Yeah, no, I think we're going to do that. Hey, it's the baby's play. You know what? It's it's consistent play. It's a winning play. We're going to be winners today. We're winners every day. Because that's my positive mental attitude speaking. We're going to be winners today. Okay, I was really hoping for a better hand here. But again, it's your life. Live it how you want to. We don't need to burn anything yet. If anything, Explosive Potion might be on the dock if we're getting burned. Galactic Halo! Halo! Oh, we're already at 12. <laughs> well, that, that escalated kind of quickly. Yeah, so that, that's a bit of damage on this turn. I'm not too concerned, because... Yeah, we could just do that. We're just going to go hog wild. Go for it, dude. You know what? I'm not disappointed. The 10 damage does suck, but I'm not I'm not disappointed in the slightest. Future Spark's gonna burn bright. This is a bad turn. We get a free Witch of Greed. And a Spore Crumpus. The amplification on the Spore Crumpus. The way they designed it, like they make it so if you play it last, you're missing out. But unless you got a heavy defensive turn, it's like, what else are you gonna do, dude? There's nothing I could do, dude. Alright, kill him there. I know, where have you guys heard that one before? I know, I get it. I too watch YouTube videos. At least 20% of my humor is absolutely stolen. We should know this by now. And by stolen, I mean just like, you know, mimicked from like someone who's <laughs> more successful. In like a, what, an entertainment platform? I am successful in my life. I, I make money. <laughs> working. It makes me sound more bitter than I am. I'm just... Saying, I, like, I watch a lot of, like, streams and videos, and I'm like, hey, that's... Uh, funny guy says something funny. I'm gonna say it, too. And then my friends are like, yeah, you have no original jokes. I'm like, that's a lie. I have some original jokes. Uh, Maloth. We don't really want to forego either of these. Art of War is probably the one we could do without. Now we're gonna hang on to it, because we do get some turns where we can make it proc. One more shot, please. Free or Calcum. Who's not to love it? Um, I mean, like blocking for sparks, not what I want. Free weakness, something I do want. Uh, the membership. Yeah, uh, this, it's a membership right there. We're gonna get better blocks as is, so we're fine doing that. The the bag, you know, it's got some stuff in it there. It won't give us Oracalcum because we already have it. Oh wait, no, it could give us Oracalcum, and that's kind of like a meh. Meh, grab. Let's yup that. Let's yup that. Let's absolutely yup that. Let's do that. Let's crumpus both of them. Kill him outright. Get a bonus there. What, how much gold did you get me? Seven? Acceptable. Not unacceptable. Absolutely acceptable. You know, go ahead and chug this, because we're going to be taking a bit of damage on these upcoming turns, I feel. 
Only if we let ourselves. And letting us do nothing. Hold firm. This turn, we're okay getting hit for just a little bit. So we'll, we'll toss that on him. Galactic Halo ensures we take no damage, so that's, that's fine too. Okay, we'll do, we'll do it like that. So this turn for sure, if we take a little damage, it's fine. And turns out we're going to take no damage because I'm just going to ice him out, right? Like so. A little over aggressive on the regen potion, but we are at max HP. So again, tell me who's the winner here. It's probably me. It wasn't me. And we're at full HP. Wowzers. Burn that out just so we can get it out of the deck and we can get some more draw action going. It's 27 damage. You hit the wrong target, son. Could have prevented those. I could toss this potion here, and I think I'm going to. Let's just see what we got first. You gave me Aura Calcum. It is cute, I suppose. So we're going to chuck this. Chuck this. We're not going to kill you. We're going to lose 3 HP in the process. Okay, we draw one of our other mushrooms and we're good. Not the mushroom I was expecting, but all right. All right, we'll kill him next turn, and we're still not going to rest. Like, there's no reason to rest. Yeah, there you go. Guaranteed death. Choose a card to exhaust. Defend. All right, he's dead. That can happen, and that could be a downside for later. Now, there's the booty blast again. I, I feel like there's like a place for it, but we'll grab another unstable bomb. And yeah, we should absolutely crush this individual. Just keep up in the blocks. You have so much damage, I think you'd be a fool not to up any blocks that you have. And you don't need anything else, you just need the blocks. But like, boom, bonus damage here. Boom, amplifications are free. And then you go boom, 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 right? Bada boom, bada bing. We'll save that magnitude for later. Just get that thing amped up enough, we should be able to one-shot this guy. No joke. We might be able to keep this sort of cycle going forever as well. Let's go for a one-shot. Because I know we can do it, we just gotta... You see the opportunity before you, you don't say, hey, No, no thanks, I'm full. You go for that opportunity. Whenever you amplify, gain block. Okay, we're gonna get a free potion out of this. Don't, don't spend it. Keep charging. Let's get to 24, that's 10 more ticks. Okay, that... That's an attack, so we can't do that. You absolutely Galactic Halo. You absolutely defend. You Spore Crumpus him. And I think if we draw it now, it's... No, we need another charge. 20 damage. Real spooky, bud. It's 186 damage. 279, not enough. You keep going. You keep charging. The night is young. The days are longer. Mihwani Wanga solo? Is that how that one's supposed to go? All right, we're up there. 28. That's 10 damage. Pretty pitiful. Uh, defend. Defend. Spore Crumpus. This could also kill him, but we have our one shot in mind. And don't stop until you charge it up. Don't got stop till you get enough. We could also just get a shit ton of money. <laughs> you get a lot of money. Like, oh my god, that's a lot of money, dude. Am I gonna compromise my morals for money? Yes. <laughs> Alright, the one shot be damned, dude. I'm fucking stacked. Stacks on stacks on stacks. Fuck, we nearly killed him outright anyway. Alright, so we didn't do the one-shot, which would have been cool. Maybe there's an achievement for it, but maybe not because it's modded. They know. It's still pretty sweet, everything we just pulled off there.
Can I get a kill here? Yeah. We can almost get a kill there. Oh, no, he hit me for 36. What a big old jerk. Oh. What am I gonna do? Ice him. Yeah, that was a lot of money we got there. It feels oh so good to be oh so rich in this game. That's another collecting quirk. That's, that's still good damage. Experimental familiar. At the start of each turn, add one spark to your hand. So that sort of ruins the charge up. We can't really do that. I don't really care for most of this, but there's a chance we'll get parasites out of that. So there's like, you know, doubling down on things being good. And don't even get me started on Donut and Star versus relevancy right now. They are irrelevant to the task at hand. I smacked them both down with my one hand. We're not going to go for that question mark, by the way, at the risk of getting the uh, the event that prevents me from having fun. So it's going to forego that. We'll burn this, though. Get some charge up. And that's still good damage. That thing really shines once it amplifies, though. Uh, hell yeah, dude. Is that, that card is basically play the card win. I love it. Don't think we need another robbery. I don't think we're going to be uh, finagling that anymore. Add a copy of the last attack you played this turn. It costs zero. Some interesting options there. I don't care, though. We don't care about your options. We care about success. Okay, thanks for our Calcum. Okay, you made that a pretty good grab right now. Alright. RNG be kind. See ya, Spark. Alright, we're taking six to make, you know, I don't know what I made happen. I just sort of played the cards and a miracle spat itself out, but it still feels good. Uh, we'll absolutely go for a bunch of RNG damage on these individuals, and then we'll go ahead and ice you. Get the block we oh so need. And we'll continue the song and dance here for another turn. That's fine. So yes. Okay, yeah, no, just yes. Fire potion, unnecessary. Illuminous stars, I don't really want more random crap. I do want more block cards. Alright, we got the membership. And yeah, mummified hand, that's good. Whenever you get a curse, which we will be getting, more max HP, and then some additional strength with combats against the leaps. Those, that was the correct choice. Gain uh, energy. Amplify effects cost nothing. This is just nice because it's the extra energy. Enough said. Call Ed. <laughs> I've always wanted to do that. Okay. No, not really. I don't even know who Ed is. You know what lawyers I know about on Las Vegas TV? It's fucking Glenn Lerner, dude. Glenn Lerner is the place to go. Call 877-51... Oh, what? I don't know. I don't remember how it goes. Uh, okay. Free stuff. What's not to love? It's a free Masterful Spark, so I think you do that. All you had to do was follow the goddamn train, CJ. You just need to hit this guy, so instead we're gonna have to burn this instead. Kill him like that. God damn it. <laughs> and you made me do a San Andreas meme. The lowest tier of comedy. How could you do this to me, game? Uh, two pulse magics. That's, that's cool. <laughs> Want to do it to this guy. Uh, we're going to get our ass beat here. I think we'll just reduce that as we best uh, can here. Next fireplace is a guaranteed rest. We still need to burst through this guy, though. That's, there's no questions to be asked. All right, Auric Alchem's fine or whatever. Mm. All right, thank you, Auric Alchem. You've reduced my loss by a slight amount more, and I do appreciate it, but HP is... Okay, HP's fine. Toss this away. We'd rather have the block potion. Stop it with the Witch of Greeds. It's too much greed. Too much witch and too much greed, dude. Which greed is it? Oh, shit.
There is reason to be concerned right now. Because we could lose here. This guy actually has the potential to end the run. We do it like this. We'll take three. We heal, we heal for four. Transient. Why you gotta be such a straight up bitch? It's a, it's a Hokago tea time. We get tea after school. Yeah, we made a poor-ish decision, but we came out all right. I was trying to get the charge going again. We got another round of charge here, so that's fine. So we do it like this. So this turn we're safe. Get the charge up going, get the charge up going. Prepare that block. Spore Crumpus him, and we should be fine now. So this was a little scary. We got eight block prep. It's only 52. Thanks to the weakness, this was way more manageable. And here's how you do it. Nothing consistent. You just go for the straight RNG play and watch the game take care of you. Choose a card to exhaust. Unstable bomb. Goodbye. So it turns out it actually wasn't that impressive. Hello? My sister got Chipotle. But I ate a burrito. We just went over this with the $100 bill story. I mean, we did. Not with her. Uh, we'll grab another upgrade, and are we strong enough to take on the elites? Probably, but let's, let's just say we did. Look at that elite I killed, guys. Wow, Tim, you're so cool. I know, Flex. Jaw worms. Jaw what? Jaw worms? Okay. Get that. Oh, and there she is. One moment. So, I have a burrito now. Am I gonna eat it? I mean, I'm tempted, but I think my stomach will actually fall apart if I do. So we'll be mature and just save it for lunch tomorrow, hopefully, unless I get... And don't do it! That's gluttony. That's gluttony, don't do it. Okay. Prop bag gets us aura calcum, that's fine. Galactic Halo gets us going a little bit quicker. We could, we could dust one guy right now. I think we'd be a fool not to. Just do it. Yeah, no, you just, just do that. Like, wh what, are you, what are you trying to save up for? Oh, look, look at all these guys I'm one shot. It doesn't matter if I lose all my HP. I look like a big old fool. Milk us way. Milk us way. Arguably, this is one you could do. But we're going to do this one regardless, so... Because it's just so goddamn strong with the relics we have. We'll take one more directional laser just because it is good AoE for the upcoming fight. And no, we're not fighting the elite. I don't I don't need it. I don't want it. I don't need it. You want it. I got it. You already know. Go ahead and upgrade the omnidirectional laser just to be a little bit better. We have the means for the shop, so why wouldn't you? And that curse gives us max HP. Then we'll pop over here and we'll just remove that said curse that we got because it's actually a bad one. Whenever you amplify, gain four block. That's that's solid. These are both solid. Is this just better to get raw of this? No, we'll grab that. We'll grab that. You can no longer amplify if you do this, but that is a block card. Is that going to screw me over? What cards am I amplifying? Witch of Greed, okay. That's about it. It's just which I mean, Asteroid Belt 2. And yeah, that's not worth it. He says as he buys it. We can plan it out. We can plan it out to make sure it is going to be worth it. I'm not concerned about losing though, because like you see the power potions we got, we're like stupid strong. We're very strong.
Yeah, we're just gonna do it like this. Watch them run. Watch them fall. Everyone's dead. Uh, gain five plated armor. Amplify. Gain three more. It's pretty good. Uh, it's my girl Galactus Halus. Perhaps you've heard of her. She gives you a bunch of charge up in 14 block. Probably one of the best common cards available for this mod. Uh, match and keep. I mean, a little late for this, but yeah, big crunch. No, thank you. Master Spark. It's a maybe. No, thank you. We already said no, thank you. We'll take another bomb. Context is everything there. Was there no curses in that run? That's cool if that's the case. One final shop to tease us out here. I don't really want RNG in this deck. I think it's beautiful just the way it is. Yes. Get me Spore Crumpus upgraded. Spore Crumpus is very good to us. Let's get some powers on the table. You gain energy when the number of cards in your draw pile increases during your turn. Okay. No. So we'll do this because the amp we have an amplification right there. Whenever charges are consumed, deal 8 damage to all enemies. That's kind of lame. Each time you activate an amplify effect, you can put an attack from you. Yeah, that's probably going to be the best one there. All right. So hang on, double spark. Because if we... Yeah, we amplify, we get it back. But we can't burn the char... Yeah, we're gonna, gonna charge up for the one shot. Or the the big damage. Gotta even it out. Sorry, I'm rolling around here. I need, really need a chair. The way my desk sort of concaves inward, it doesn't facilitate this that well. Uh, big words, big words, big words. Okay. Absolute magnitude is something we want. That's 74 damage as is. I think we continue to hold, because we're not in danger. This comes around again, we play it. If we can get to 16 so we can do our Relic Attack card, that'd be... We can still get there. Easy. Easy. Oh, lemon. <gasps> Squeezy? Mmm. That's 208 damage. You'd be a miss not to do it like that. Also, you focused on the wrong target, my friend, but that's fine because we're pretty much golden. I don't think we can lose now. Yeah, Galactic Halus. You already knew what was going to happen. Alright, that's one dead. Uh, I think we will just do this because we can. Alright, got him. And yeah, you know, it's it's a fun time playing this character because it, it's already over. Like, we've we've done it. It's like that scene out of Halo when, like, you know, the they're placing bombs on the first level. It's like, we did it, we won, and then, you know, we get blown up. Except we're not getting blown up. He's getting blown up. We're the winners. This is how winning is done. Even though he is still chunking me pretty hard here towards the end. There's a few ways to go for the kill there. I want to do it in style, of course. Uh, rising Sweep. Just the style that I was hoping to get. There we go. Easy as it comes, my friends. Hey, thanks for watching. Thanks for listening to me ramble. Thanks for being here. Thanks for the tales. And thanks for the concern. <laughs> Again. I'm not really one to, like, expose my issues on the internet, but... It's a safe space. I really haven't exposed anything either, so... One step at a time. Regardless, enjoy the rest of your evening, everybody, and I will see you tomorrow, and if I'm feeling it, maybe later tonight, for the next one. Take it easy, everyone.